Tonight, he brings to a cage a record of five wins, two losses. He represents Doc's gym, five foot seven, 145 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cage, Abbas Abbasov. Leo Abbas Abbasov from Turkmenistan is an incredible judo player. At the under 17 Worlds, he took sixth at the age of 16 years of age. He then migrated to the United States where he is the number one judo player at his weight. Do not allow his two losses to fool you. He does not fight in his weight class because he cannot get fights at that, at that weight. He comes in here and, and literally, the, the, one of the first times fighting at a weight class, you know, that, that's comfortable him against a guy that's nine and one. Yeah, I remember seeing his fights for, I mean, just outstanding judo, just incredibly tough guy. In his corner, you got Kent Edwards, a boxing and kickboxing. He's a striking coach. I really admire his Muay Thai, but he insisted on saying he's a boxing, kickboxing. He's a stand-up guy, obviously. When you got a guy like Abbas Abbasov, who's got the judo and the jiu-jitsu down, he's got to concentrate on his striking. And I think that was a little little wild when we first saw him last, last event. Yeah. Just got to buckle down because he's such a young player still. Yeah, I expect to see a little bit different, uh, more calmness from him. Uh, his whole crew right now rocking the, uh, the Khabib hat. Oh, that, that's cool. his father in his corner as well. That's, um, uh, that's, that's something, you know. You know, man, when you rock a hat like the Khabib hat like that, that's, yeah. um, that's something I, I, I think uh, very few have the guts to do. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And it's not something you do for fun. It's something right. that you are. Right. <laughs> Yeah. So we saw him in the last fight um, repeatedly get judo throws. I mean, literally using the mat to beat his opponent up through his throws. Um, I see a very bright future in this, this young kid's eyes. You know, he's your typical Muslim in terms of discipline, doesn't drink, doesn't use drugs, lives in the gym. I, I tell you, these Muslim fighters coming from that area of the world, they are showing the rest of the world what real discipline looks like. That is exactly true. And his opponent fighting of the red corner. Tonight, he comes to us from Wausau, Wisconsin. He brings to the cage a record of nine wins and one loss. He is five feet, six inches tall, and a weight of 145 pounds. He represents a rising Sun MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cage, Kyle Zimek. Kyle Zimek is nine and one comes from the state of Wisconsin, which we have obviously already talked about in regards to just the, uh, the depth of talent coming yes. from, that, yes. from that state itself, requested this fight. He's like, I'm turning pro. I want to fight the toughest guy that I can possibly find. And we're going to do it here in Chicago. We know, you know, one is living in Minnesota. The other is living in Wisconsin. And we're here on the south side of Chicago with a main event with, an, with a packed crowd that has not left. I mean... I expect this match to just be fireworks. I mean, the whole night has been just incredible. I mean, we have two super talented guys like Kyle with the nine and one record is nothing to sneeze at. You know, I mean, like, and uh, he to request a guy like this is just means your mind is in a place where nobody else's is. You got Lao Tao and uh, Shirley Tao cornering Kyle Zimmick. Um, another class act. You know, one of the guys who did his pre-fight interview, and he was like, no, no, dude, I, I need hard fights. Like, it's, you know, he explained the background of his opponent, and he, oh, man, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Like, you don't, you don't go through a locker room and find many of those. Right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, your fighters, your final fight of the night, your main event, the Blue Corner. Representing Doc's gym with a record of five wins and two losses, Abbas Abbasar. His opponent, the Red Corner, with a record of nine wins and one loss, representing Rising Sun MMA, Kyle Zimmer. This is a title bout scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Your referee, Mr. Mike Sim. We got Abbas Abbasov in the red and gray <coughs> spandex. Other side of the corner, Kyle Zimek in the uh, black sprawl trunks, old school sprawl trunks. I got to give a little respect to that. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have a pair of those. Yeah, dude. Great, great brand back in the yes. day. 
Kyle Zimmick. And Kyle Circle. Southpaw. Yes, up Powell Zimmick. Abbas with the inside nice. leg kick. Shoots for a takedown is, is Zimmick. <clears throat> you're looking at the, um, you're talking about the leg ties of Khabib Nurmagomedov yeah. being mirrored right now by totally. Kyle. Totally. And a great plan by Kyle. Because your feet are not on the ground, you're not going to be able to get up. And yeah. he's got Abbas is back. Got Abbas. Let's see if he can keep it. <coughs> Abbas Abbasov not in a good position right now. They're wrestling in hips of Kyle Zimic. Seems oh, to pay dividends right looks now. Looks like he's got the left arm. I can't, from the, looks like he might have that left arm pretty deep. Let's see know. if uh, Abbas can keep turning. I he's think a, Abbas is uh, finding a way out of this. Abbas is a tough guy. Man. Climbing he's, up the cage. It's almost like a ten-finger guillotine. Yeah, I don't see that. Ooh, it right back to a deep, uh, you know, deep double. Yeah, Abbas got to push his back, and he's got to get those that one of those hands off of the leg, and he's got to he's got to break that grip. Right, and he's got an underhook and cross face hard. The blanketing uh, Zimic. If he continues this entire fight, it's going to be a little frustrating you know, for Abbas. Abbas needs to hit an Uchimata from here. Like, he needs to overhook with his right, and he needs to turn that into an Uchimata, which he looks like he's trying to do from there. There he goes, and he's, oh, he almost did it. That's yep. what I would do. I'm a judo. <laughs> I was originally a judo player. I think, like, I think, uh, I think you hit a, a gi with numbers on the back at one time yourself, Leo. Yes, yeah. Which, if many, you're a judo player, you know exactly ago. what that means. Yes, many, many, many. The blanket in Kyle Zimmick is ago. continuing applying pressure to Abbas Abbasov. This might be a little frustrating. Yeah. This is, Kyle's doing, Kyle's doing the right thing, you know. I mean, Abbas is looking for an upper body tie-up, almost like Greco-Roman. That's how judo players, uh, yeah, look, and he's hitting that Uchimata. See, if yes. he needs a transition that it, to a guillotine after that Uchimata. Deep breath by deep breath by Kyle Zimic, uh You know, after the break of that last exchange, circling Abbas moving forward, straight right punch, lead right punch, smart if you're fighting a southpaw. Yeah. Ooh, head Abbas, kick. same thing. Abbas got to stay to the outside of Kyle's lead leg. Nice kick blocked by Kyle Zimic. Straight punch counter by Abbas Abbasov. Back. Abbas has got his mouth closed, taking deep breaths in through his nose. Not winded at all is what that means. Young guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to have that energy again. <laughs> Beginning of round two. We got a bouncing uh, Kyle Zimic and approaching Abbas Abbasov, closing the distance. I, I see Kyle eyeing that front leg again Ooh, a little yeah. bit. Nice lead right punch by by Abbas, uh, followed by two hooks yeah. by Zimek. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, nice pressure, by, kick to the body, and a stuff of a takedown by Abbasov. Yeah. Zimek is continuing with the pressure. I don't know if he can continue this type of pressure for five rounds. That know. is a lot to ask of somebody. He's got a lot of pressure on his neck, but he doesn't have anything significant there. I don't know. Look at the breathing of Abbasov. Abbas, Abbas got to get his left leg on the outside of that. I see Kyle kind of dropping. Oh, yeah. I was surprised to see Abbasov kind of acquiesce like that and go back to the mat. He missed the opportunity to, to, to lock stand. up that. Yeah. yeah. 
or to lock up at least the guillotine if that's what if he's really trying, or to lock up the legs for the guillotine if that's what he's really wanting. Zimic is starting to slow down a little bit. Yeah, like that. That you can only go forward for so long. Nice. And as I say that, he gets a nice little upper body takedown. Now he's in trouble there a bit. Let's see. Let's let's see how deep that is. I, I can't see from this angle, but he's still moving. Yeah, this is a, an interesting chess match. You He's got to be careful he doesn't want to burn out. Burn off his yeah. arms. Yeah, like that lactic acid builds up and kind of makes your arms virtually useless. That was, let's go. Later on in the fight. He's trying to transition to an armbar, but I don't think he's got the space on the cage there. Peppering punches by Kyle Zimmick. Kyle doing a good job to pass. He's got to control that post arm from Abbas. See how he's, he's got that up now. He's got that body lock, but... I'm looking for Abbas to try to probably wizard him and, and look for that same Uchiman as soon as he stands up. Zimic is stealing these rounds. He you is. Know, we got one minute left in the second round. There he goes for the Uchiman attempt again, but Kyle caught that one. Ooh. He's got his back now, and then Abbas slips out, man. There's a lot of work being put in yeah. by Kyle Zimic. Yeah, Abbas can't be letting too many of these rounds slip away like this. Like, we're heading into the championship rounds. Right. There, yeah. now Abbas turned, Abbas finally put it together. It looks like he's got his head stuck a bit, but, oh. Now, when you're giving up that sweep from the top, that means that pressure's tight, but. Yeah, I, I, you look at Kyle Zimmick's build, he looks like somebody that's very strong. Yeah. Back to the feet. These that's guys have really put in some work. No, right these now. transitions are fantastic. And a heavy right hand, the end of the exchange by Abbas. Back to the center ring. I think we're up 2 nothing with Zimic right Kyle now. Kyle looks a little tired. Oh, nice reverse. Oh. I, I tell you, the, the transitions, oh, the transitions wow. by Zimic. Wow. Like, like the, the solutions to the puzzle that Abbas Abbasov are throwing are, are, are quickly countered. It's like you, you can see Zimic being two or three moves ahead. Yeah. But you can also see his gas tank heading towards empty. Yeah. Abbas is going, I think, a lot of just feel, you know? I mean, like, he's a young guy. Yeah, you know, that's also not an easy thing to digest either. No, and I was got to stay off, stay off the cage because that's that's where he's getting he's uh, getting shot on. Yes, you know he's getting nickel and dimed at a time. Right. Absolutely. Fantastic fight between these two, both fighters center stage. Referee Mike Sims. Lead left hook, or lead right hook, I should say, by Kyle Simic. Kyle looks like he's uh, taking a few deep breaths there. Um, yeah, if I'm Abbas, I'm thinking pressure might be your friend right now. Yes. Lead left hook by Zimic again. Lands its spot on the yeah. jaw of Abbas Abbasov. Deep breath by Abbas. I'm guessing Abbas is going to try another. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm guessing Abbas is going to try another take. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I need yeah. to put that right forearm to take control. Uh, yeah. This little shot to the just going to turn over, man. Yeah, and you know the transitions by by Kyle are. Uh, I can't tell if he's got a. And it looks like he's got an anaconda there. Let's see if he can close that up. He the, definitely has it. I don't know if it's tight enough to. Or if he's got enough energy to finish. Yeah, and Kyle's arm is kind of wide on there, and so it's really not creating a lot of pressure. It's really hard to finish like an anaconda from this position. I mean, like you have to have long and strong arms. Yeah, Kyle is. I mean, you can see he's just he's a giant muscle too. Yeah. I mean, that's if you're. If you're going to beat him, it's going to be on technique and not strength, right. in my opinion. Yeah, Zimic, Zimic's jiu-jitsu and groundwork and understanding of, of you know, body movement is, uh, is fantastic. It is. He's transitioned to all the right spots. And he's getting he just got out. Full fell into the mount is uh, Kyle Zimic. Abbas Abbasov is in a really bad position He's right in a now. bad spot here. Wow. Oh, wow, he turns it around. Heavy left, heavy right punches, but I, I tell you right now, Kyle Zimic is tired. He and is. Abbas is that train is starting to roll. Right. Look at the heart of Kyle Zimic. Uh, he's just, he, you know, Kyle Zimic, he's fighting at every instance, like everything. Yes. Whether it's a position, grabbing a wrist. Everything, everything. Yeah, yep. a, a, everything is a fight with him. There's no break in Kyle Zimic in regards to getting to be able to relax. Abbas Abbasov, oh my gosh. Abbas got, Abbas got to do a little bit more of a better job controlling Kyle's hips because, I mean, if you know a wrestler and you know a wrestler's hips, and Kyle's kind of got like a weak triangle on there, but 
like the hips is everything. So like Abbas is getting kind of high there, you know, like. I would well, not pull him back. I would flatten him out on his stomach. Well, wow, with 30 seconds left, Abbas Abbasov might steal this round. I think so. Uh, He's going to go to an armor transition? Uh, no. Kyle Zimmick, there is no quit. Oh. Man, Kyle Zimmick, there, it's like everything's a fight with him. It's like when you watch Jorge Masvidal fight, yeah. it's every position. Like right. even, even if it's like a, a, a grip of a right. wrist, there's, yes. there, there's a fight there. Yes. Zimmick falls into that category. Absolutely. Ooh, left right punch is exchanged by both fighters. Both fighters in a phone booth right now throwing wild punches. Yeah. Kick by this Abbasov. Is where it gets dangerous. Left right punch. <laughs> oh, oh. Wow. I would not want to be a judge at this uh, point, but Abbasov may have just squeaked ahead. Oh, there you go. I, I agree with you there, Mike. You never know. You never know. And, you, you know, the worst thing you can do is leave it in the referee's hands. Yeah. None it's of a, these guys giving up an inch. No, no, and you know when you when when you know we describe a fight like that, not giving up an inch, everything's a fight. Yeah, that screams cardio. Absolutely. Like, whatever you do in a gym is fantastic, but what you're doing outside of the gym is actually what your training really is. Right. And both these gentlemen are, are, are putting the work in. It's a corner that knows their fighter. Yeah. Still mouth closed. <laughs> <He's> got, yeah. has <laughs> got his mouth closed, going into the fourth round. Yeah, like we said, you know, typical Muslim fighter, and that yeah. is the biggest compliment you can give somebody. Yeah. Disciplined, dedicated, focused, goal-oriented. That's Abbas Abbasov. Not afraid Ooh. of a hard fight. Swinging wildly is Kyle Zimmick landing a couple punches. Abbas Abbasov returning. He likes that high kick. That Cut over the right eye of Abbas Abbasov. Uppercut. Inside leg kick by Abbasov. Pressure by there. Kyle Zimmick. So and this is just a... This is that battle right here. You're going for the single. I tell you, that cut over Abbasov's eye is um, might be something that Doctor looks at in between rounds. And this round just began. I can't see if there. Oh, I thought he might have had a camera on there. Yeah. No. He's Ab Abbasov is just gonna let keep. keep I, I, in my opinion, and, and listen, Kyle Zimmick is a freight train. Yeah. But. Like, you've, you've got to keep testing that cardio. You cannot let him rest. No, absolutely. Yeah. And, and I say that from the comfortability of the broadcast booth. <laughs> <laughs> A place where I am king, I yes. might add, Leo. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Undefeated. Undef oh, oh, nice head nice kick, kick by Abbas. By Abbas Abbasov. And Abbas Abbasov is he continuing caught. applying his pressure. He brought a cut over Kyle's eye now. Yes. He's been throwing that kick the whole night. hasn't landed. It's got to be a little frustrating if you're Kyle because this is probably the first time he hasn't broken somebody. Yeah. You know, with the type of pressure. Ooh, left right oh. punches and a little and wobbly is Kyle, Kyle Zimmick. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uppercut. Kick to the face. This is I where Abbas needs to turn the pressure up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you got you to gotta put in the next gear, run a little red. Yeah. But I mean, Kyle's still game. Like. No, he's no joke, man. He's still like, moving forward. <laughs> so, you know, in the independent circuit, Frankie Edgar and Jim Miller fought. Yeah. And um, it was each of their fight before the UFC. I think uh, Jim Miller had a fight one more time before he got there. When we signed this fight, I thought this is the Edgar Miller fight of yeah. the independent grind. Oh my I was God. so happy to see this get signed. Yeah, those are two guys that are just work machines. Legends I mean, just work Yeah, legends. Counter punch. You got, you got Kyle Zimmick continuing to apply pressure, going for a takedown. Abbas Abbasov. I'll tell you this right now. If uh, Kyle can uh, land this takedown, maybe adjust his position. He can steal this round. He can steal this round, and that is How not much energy good. does he? Ooh, and he does have energy. Abbas Abbasov back not to his feet. Uh, reverses. Not an ideal. No, you just burn a lot Ooh. of energy if you're Kyle Zimmick. And um, any hard work that you just earned. And that now Abbas is going to give him a favor back. <laughs> Jesus, there is no give in this fight whatsoever. The wow. father of Abbas Abbasov being very... <laughs> Abbas looking to finish. Like, I tell you what, man, that's a lot of gas throwing all those punches. Ooh, right and he hits a punch. right hand from Kyle. Return punch by Abbas Abbasov. Oh, my gosh. Kyle. Wow. Kyle Zimmick has got the heart of a lion. Holy cow. What do you tell... If you're Abbas Abbasov, I'm thinking I'm down. <laughs> like, I, I believe it's tied 2-2, two to two, but if I'm in his corner, I'm telling right. him he's down because it very right. well might, might might be in that. Yeah. Leo Valdez, obviously 20-plus years of mixed martial arts experience, black belt in jiu-jitsu. What are you telling 
Abbasov. Man, I'm telling Abbasov go for the finish. Like, I mean, honestly, I would tell Abbasov, look, you got to take him down. Kyle Zimek. What do you explain to Kyle Zimek? I'm telling Kyle, same thing. <laughs> Kyle this Zimek. This is the game of whoever's getting a takedown and controlling the hip. Shirley and Latau in the corners of Kyle Zimek. I don't have much interaction with them. It's the first time they've ever sent Buddy down here to Bourbon Street. I'm going to tell you this right now, man. Class acts. Yeah, both these guys are just tough as nails. No, they both it, have great takedowns. In the calmness that, that Lau was, was giving the instructions of Kyle Zimek, both of them know that, that, that this round determines this fight, in my opinion. It certainly does. Very impressive performance. My palms are sweating to yes. see what's about to happen next. <laughs> Rising Sun MMA, very impressive performance by Kyle Zimmick. Very. Man, that, that guy is just in shape, man. In shape, very strong. Very strong coming out of the gate is Kyle Zimmick. Abbasov leaning over, feigning, yeah. being tired. I don't believe that. Oh, upper he body. To and and, and that's, yeah, that, that's gas tank right there. Yeah. You, know, I, you talk about round one, I think Kyle Zimmick would have fought through that and got the upper body takedown. Now, I think if Abos can stay on top and control, he might walk away with a split. Yeah, I think both these guys are turning pro after this fight. No matter who wins or loses, yeah. it's probably a good thing. I've just got to be careful like not to get that, those legs in the way and to pass that. And, and we haven't seen Zimic from his back yet. Yeah. You know, we've seen him from like a, a top gritty, yeah. top pressure performer. Yeah, we don't know how slick he is from his back. No, Kyle has some opportunities right now that I don't know. Abos has got his hands in a little bit of a bad position for an arm bar. Uh, let's see if Kyle can take advantage of some of those. I don't know. It looked, I saw him lock up a triangle earlier, but yeah. I was just got to, like, ground and pound from here and yeah. not let Kyle up. That's I, his biggest mistake he can do is let this guy up. I agree. And he can't let him breathe there. Ky no. Kyle is a machine. Yeah. I'm yeah, just, Ky Kyle Zimek. I, 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 oh. Like, obviously, we know Abbas. We've been talking Abbas up this entire fight. This is the first time I've ever seen Kyle Zimek fight. I, I, I'm shocked. Yeah at how well he's performing. Yeah. This is like just a blue chip next level athlete. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's easy to talk about a guy you've seen fight four or five times. Kyle Zimmick is a savage. Loading up on those left-right punches is Zimmick. Abbasov countering with a kick to the body. Ooh, straight right from Abbas and right back from with Kyle. Oh, my gosh. Both Man. of these guys are coming at it. We have got a packed house here at Jeez. Bourbon Street. What a treat. This is one of the best fights I've seen in a long, this is... long time. You know, Leo, you and I were texting Man. earlier. I'm like, nah, this is it. This, this is crazy. Abasov, deep double leg takedown with a counter by Zimic. I, I, I cannot explain to you how impressed I am from, with, with Rising Sun in regards to the yeah. pedigree of athlete that is coming out of their oh, gym. Absolutely. And I, I, I think it's just pressure. I mean, uh, Kyle Zimic is a pressure guy. He lives and dies by pressure. I, I just think... Man, he found a guy that's got a, a gas tank, and he might be burning out his legs right now. Yeah, both these guys relentless. Yeah, Zimic peppering as well, oh, catching ahead of Abasov. I, I'm the, the the amount of conditioning that these two athletes have. I have never in my 20 years of mixed martial arts experience, I, I, you see one side of the table have this type of conditioning, but very rarely would you ever see two on yeah. any level. No, absolutely. Abbas is stealing this round. Abbas making a... Yeah, yeah. I, I tell you what, Abbas Abbasov, wow. Oh, wow, holy cow. I mean, raising his hand. Wow. I, I'll tell you this, Kyle Zimek right now. I, I, I cannot get over the dog in each of these two fighters. Amazing. Both of these, whatever way this goes, both of these guys. I, I'm going to be talking to both. Abbasov, obviously. English is his second language. Huge prospect. I mean, like, amazing guys. Just. Ken Edwards, always gracious, out of Dax Gym in Minneapolis. Yeah, anybody he puts his name on, I've been impressed by. You know, I've made the mistake of calling him a Thai guy, but he's a stand-up fighter. But um, I tell you, Abbas Abbasov, very rarely you're going to see there these two get pushed at this level. And... Um, I mean, if you want to talk about a main event, this, that is a main event. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know, I'm like, it's, it's a different, I, I would not want to be in a judge's chair right now.
And ladies and gentlemen, your winner of your 15th fight, your co-main event, all three judges saw it 48-47. Your winner by a unanimous decision. And your new featherweight champ at 145, the blue corner, Abbas Abbasan. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Simmons. I have never seen a heart at this level like this gentleman put, this gentleman put forward. Abbas Abbasov, his opponent, is the number one guy in the entire country for judo right now. And the machine and heart that you put forward, was this something that you expected, this type of push? Oh yeah, um, we, knew, we knew he was gonna come to fight. We knew his cardio was easily gonna be there. He fights at a world-class level, so you gotta yeah. expect that he's game for this guy. Your cardio is something very rarely seen at this level, and having two people in the same fight with that level of discipline is something very rare. Yeah, crazy fight. What steps did you take in order to prepare yourself for this fight? I mean, really, it just comes down to the hard work you put in the gym, the hard work you put when you're not in the gym, you know, all the extra miles, all the dieting, everything like that comes into play, and we knew that he was gonna match that, so. Kyle, you've got nothing to be ashamed of, and I cannot explain to you how proud we are to have you step through that gate. Rising Sun Martial Arts out of Wausau, Wisconsin, put together not only a class individual, but somebody that just put on a hell of a show. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, a guy at the age of 16 years old that competed at the Judo Worlds, took sixth place. He's the number one Judo competitor in the entire United States. English is not his first language, from Turkmenistan. Abbas, how does this feel? Oh. Oh, that feels amazing. That's amazing. I'm very happy. Kyle Zimik, thank you very much. That was a tough fight. Five rounds of non-stop. My hard work paid off. Woo. La ladies and gentlemen, you very rarely see the type of discipline between one athlete, let alone two. When we describe you, we say you're the typical Muslim fighter. Disciplined, goal-orientated. Somebody that has a game plan. Any words for the countrymen watching this at home? Oh, I just want to say thank you for all my friends, my family, for support. It was, it was hard camp. It's Ramadan time. I've been fasting. Then I got sick. I didn't work out the whole week, just laying in the bed. Then I started just doing cutting weight. I came here. That's it. That was, that was tough time. And I really had for it for I have that kind of people around me. They helped me a lot, support. Thank you very much. And thank you for Jeremy for putting this card. Everything is great. Thank you very much for everyone. So ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, this gentleman right here very rarely fights in his own weight class because his skill level is so high. A quick Google search will tell you do not fight him. And Kyle, coming here all the way from Wausau, Wisconsin, made this special. Thank you so much. Your champion, everybody, Abbas Abbasov.